Hello and welcome to Engineering Simple. In this video, I'll show how to calculate the partial derivatives. So let's start with an example. So let's assume we have a function f in terms of x, y, z, which is equal to x cubed plus 2 times x squared times y plus y plus 5. As you can see, we have a function in terms of three variables. So that means you can differentiate this function f with respect to either x or y or z. For this example, let's differentiate f. So this operator del just means partial with respect to x. And you can write f of x, y, z if you want. Sometimes just simple to write just del f over del x. So del x f is x cubed plus 2 times x squared times y plus y plus 5. Then I can apply this derivative to each term of the function. So that means the derivative of x cubed with respect to x plus the partial derivative of 2 times x squared times y plus the derivative of y with respect to x plus derivative since i have x here so i can just use what i normally do when i do derivatives so this here is just three you bring three to the then you do x to the power of 3 minus 1, which is 2, plus. So I'm, I'm doing the derivative with respect to x. I have x here. So 2 times 2. Then the way I do it, I bring this 2 here times 2 times x to the power of 2 minus 1, which is just 1 times y. y is a constant in this case since y is not equal to x. Plus, in this term here, I just have y. so It, it does not depend on x, so the derivative is just 0 plus the derivative of a constant is just 0. So the outcome is 3 times x squared plus 2 times 2 is 4 times xy. So let's take a second example. f of x, y, z is equal to x, squared, x squared times y times z plus x times y plus 3. And we want to take the, the partial derivative of f with respect to z this time. So I can just write the entire function here, z plus xy plus 3, then I will apply that operator to each term. So x squared yz plus del z xy plus the derivative of 3. This term here has z, so it depends on z. So x squared y is constant in this case, so I'm just going to write it. So z is like 1. It's like z to the power of 1. So I bring that 1 here times 1 times z to the power of 1 minus 1 is 0, which means it's just 1. So I'm not going to write it. This term does not depend on z. That means the derivative is 0 plus the, der the partial derivative of a constant is 0. So this is just x squared times y. Thank you. Have a great day.